Good morning. It's time for our children's story this morning. Do you remember what this week's Advent theme is? But we heard it during the candle lighting. We even heard it in the hymn that we just sang before the children's story. Can you remember? It's peace. Today we lit the candle of peace. Does anyone know what the word peace means? Well, at its most basic level, it can mean the absence of conflict. It means that there's no war, there is no disagreement, there is no conflict. But the word peace, as it is used in the Bible, and in the Bible, it's the Hebrew word shalom that is translated into English as peace. And shalom, or biblical peace, or God's peace, this kind of peace, it's much more complicated in its meaning. It doesn't mean that there isn't, it doesn't just mean rather that there is no war, that there's no conflict, that there's no disagreement. It means that in addition to that, there's also justice, that wrongs have been made right, that people have forgiven each other, and that they've made things right between them, that they actually like each other and can work together, that they respect each other. That kind of peace is really hard. Finding or making peace with ourselves or making that kind of peace with others or making that kind of peace with the whole world, that is really complicated and hard. So where do we start? How do we do it? How do we make peace like that? Well, God teaches us the power of our words and our actions. And God modeled that for us. God created the world by speaking to it and then calling it good. And God forgives us simply by saying the words, I forgive you, right? After we've spoken our own words of confession, God, I've done these things wrong, please forgive me. And God says, I forgive you. And our words, our words have power too, just like God's. I bet all of you have felt hurt at some point when someone has said words to you that were hurtful and mean, right? You remember how that feels? And I bet all of us have felt words of love and joy, right? When somebody has spoken kind words to us, encouraging words to us, we have felt great, we felt incredible, we felt loved and welcomed. So we know how powerful words can be when they're spoken to us, which means that we have to be really careful about what words we choose to speak, how we speak to other people, because we don't want our words to be hurtful. We want other people to feel love and feel joy and feel encouraged. That's how we do it, through our words and our actions. Can you pray after me today? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus, and we thank you for the power of words. Help us to choose our words carefully and bring peace and love to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our hymn is number 732, O Day of Peace That Dimly Shines, and it's sung by Marianne McVicker. <laughs> 